Hello, it's Gordo here. Welcome to YouTube. If it's your first time on YouTube or your first time to my channel, welcome. This is what my channel looks like. It's in cyberspace right now. Um, but that aside, today I was just going to do a little lesson or tutorial or just an idea of how you can practice without a drum set or buckets or anything, really. Um, so for those of you that are just starting out and don't have drum sets, can't find buckets yet, um, but still want to kind of work on something and don't even have a practice pad, uh, this is something I used to do when, when I was in places where I didn't have access to that stuff, but I still wanted to practice and get my arms moving. Um, so what I'm going to do today is pretty much just play on the carpet. If you can hear that. Um, so you can pretty much play on any object around the house as long as you don't break it. But today I'm going to show how you can do some exercises to get your hands moving around on the carpet. And what I'm going to use is just some tape like this. We're going to get some tape. Whoa. Some tape down like that. It's like arts and crafts. Get some more tape. Like that. We're going to make a big cross and then we're going to use this to simulate four drums or four buckets. Um, just to help us get our hands moving across the different surfaces. And if you want, if you want to simulate a bigger drum kit, you can have these sections further apart. Maybe have two lines down here and you play on either side of them. Um, but for now we're just going to go with this big cross. And we're going to simulate, I don't know if simulate is the right word, but we're going to pretend there's like a, a drum here, drum here, drum here. And so you're going to play in the middle of the drum here, you're not going to play around these areas. You're going to visualize the center of the drum. And then that way, I mean, it doesn't sound good because you're just literally playing the carpet, but it's a good way to start forming exercises that you can start warming up here. And then when you do get buckets or a drum kit or something, you can start playing them on then. So you're not just wasting your time looking at drums on eBay. Um, so like, there's just simple exercises you can do. You can number them in your head, one, two, three, four. So you can do four strokes on each. One, two, three, four. Uh, to get your arms moving, you can do triplets. Stuff like that. You can do uh, back and forth movements. Stuff like that. Now, that was just a triplet with accents, so right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, and you move your, the accent around. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Trying to stay uh, in the center. So this will help your precision when you get on the drum kit and you're not just hitting rims and just slopping it around. So what you can do now, uh, I don't think the cross simulated the drum kit that well, so what we're going to do, we're going to move this here, and it's going to be crooked, because I failed arts and craft at school. And then we're going to get another one, like this, look at that. Now we've got an even bigger drum kit. <laughs> so with this you can you can do exercises to, uh, you can for example start with triplets and work on moving your hands over each other. Now the rule with moving arms across the drum kit to other sides, the rule is that if your right hand is going to the left, it passes over. And when your left hand goes to the right, it passes over as well. So you're not doing this. Not that. You always go over. So if I'm starting here and I want to do, for example, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And I want to move that right hand over to the left, you go over.
You can move it around. Okay, so if you want to go to the left, something like that. Um, so it's just a good way to get your arms moving uh, and just get your head around how your arms move and the specific movements. So you can be. So it's, you're just not wasting your time when you don't have something to practice and you want to feel, play, you know? Um, so you can do like uh, triplets uh, in groups of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the one and two of the triplet are accented. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Like that, uh, you can break them up. Stuff like that. You know, you can just, uh, a good one to, if you really wanna work on getting speed, um, crossing over your arms, you can just do triplets with the downbeat accented. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Like this. Just move the accents over to the left. And just take it slow, use a metronome. And always be watching where your stick lands. Just make sure it lands in the, in the center here. Because you'll notice as you get faster and faster, you'll get start to get a little bit sloppy. And it's okay to be a little bit sloppy, but as long as you're aware of it and you're always trying to aim right for the middle. If you're not just caring and just, yeah, look how fast I am, guys. Yeah, so fast, look at that. You can't even see it, you know? It's not gonna sound good on the drums. And ultimately we want it to sound good, not just be fast. Um, so yeah, always being conscious of where your drumsticks land. You know? And straight away you can see my right hand passes over a lot e more easily than my left hand passes over. Something I can work on. Like that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the the idea I wanted to give you that the, the idea I wanted to give you guys today. Uh, feel free to try it out. Uh, so there's no excuses now. As long as you've got some, as long as you've got some drumsticks, you can start practicing. All you need is carpet. Um, another thing you, people like to do is practice on pillows. I don't like to do that as much because there's absolutely no bounce on pillows. I think it's like too far from drums. It's like too different to actually get good results from that, I find. But there's a lot of great drummers that recommend it, so, I mean, you can listen to them, they might be right, I might be wrong. Um, but each to his own. If you don't wanna practice on pillows, you can have a carpet or a surface with enough bounce so it's more engaging for your arms. Um, but if you wanna practice on pillows and you're not injuring yourself, go ahead, that's fine. But that's it for today. Well, not for today, I'll probably upload some other videos today as well, so that's it for now. Stay tuned. Thank <laughs> you.